you're watching Gears. Brought to you by Holly Performance Products. Fuel your passion. And Cornwell Tools, the choice of professionals. Hey, welcome to Gears. You know, there's an old saying that if you wait long enough, what is old and outdated will eventually come back around and be new and desirable again. Now, while that might not be true with that box of pizza in your refrigerator, there is some truth to that in the automotive world. Just take a look at the crazy prices that people are paying for stuff at auction that nobody wanted just a few years ago. That's a great indicator of how things come back around. Wow, $400,000, amazing. What a Mika moment. And one thing that's enjoying a huge resurgence in popularity is the cargo van. Ford, Chevy, Dodge, it doesn't matter. People are once again being drawn to these boxes on wheels that are perfect for customizing in a million different ways. There's only one problem. They stopped making vans like this back in the 90s. So the aftermarket pretty much dried up on them. Nobody really knows what'll fit and what won't fit. And everybody's scared to put a modern computer controlled engine in them. They just don't want to mess with it. Well, hopefully we're here to change your mind on that because there are a lot of parts available for these and they make a great project if you plan them out right. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Now, the first thing that you want to do with any project is plan out the direction of the build. And since this is going to be a hot rod van, we started with the GM Performance LS427 engine and the matching 6L80E automatic. Then we added all of these Holly accessories to get a nice tight package to fit in that nice tight engine compartment. Now we're gonna turn our attention back to the rest of the van and get it ready to handle almost 600 horsepower. Okay, the first area of concern is the front suspension and brakes. And as you can see, this is the original suspension, and by the looks of it, it's never been apart. So we're just gonna replace it all. And that is the first big surprise that you're gonna find on these old vans. The lower control arms, the upper control arms, the spindles, the springs, the shocks, it's all pretty much the same stuff as what they used on the square body Chevy truck. And you got a lot of options there. So here's what we got.